Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, as some of you may know, I've thoroughly tested and reviewed a lot of VPNs through the course of this channel, and a couple of common questions that I get asked are, hey, what's your favorite VPN? And which VPN do you think works best for me? And how are you so handsome? And that's why I'm making this video today, where I'll be giving you not one, not two, but three VPNs that I consider to be the best in the business, and these three are gonna be ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. Now, despite sharing the throne, they're not exactly the same. Each one of these VPNs could be useful for one person, but might not really be the best choice for another, and so I'll be going over what all three have to offer and who they're most suitable for, so that you can pick one that best fits your needs. But keep in mind that this is a quick rundown of all three, so if you want to check them out in detail, you'll find some in-depth reviews I've made linked in the description box below, along with a discount if you want to save yourself some money. Okay, so before we talk about these VPNs individually, let's take a sec to check out what they have in common. First off, all three of these VPNs can access streaming services without any issues, unlike most VPNs out there. So if you want to watch any international TV shows from countries like the UK, Japan, and even India, as a matter of fact, all three VPNs are great options. Oh, and you don't need to worry about any bandwidth limitations or throttling with these three, so you can watch whatever to your heart's content. Other than that, they all allow torrenting and would give you the necessary tools to not only torrent safely, but even access the internet in some censorship-heavy countries. Some of these tools include a kill switch that would sever your internet connection immediately should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server, preventing any data leaks from happening, as well as a split tunneling feature that would allow you to choose which apps pass through the VPN tunnel and which ones do not. I personally use this a lot when I'm gaming and torrenting at the same time as I can have my torrenting software running on a VPN, but Warzone, for example, is running normally. And the best part about these three is that they all operate on strict no-logs policies where they don't store any data. Data. In fact, they all run on RAM-only servers that cannot physically store any data, and whatever data is left on the server would be wiped out with every system reboot. Okay, now that we've talked about what these VPNs have in common, let's kick this off with the most budget-friendly option out there, Surfshark. Now, that's not to say that Express and Nord are expensive options, they're actually pretty affordable, but Surfshark somehow delivers pretty much most of the premium stuff you find in top VPNs just at a much lower cost. It might not be as fast as Nord and Express when it comes to speed and performance, but it's still pretty speedy, and it gives you a bunch of features like a kill switch, split tunneling, speed tester, rotating IP, and no borders mode. It even throws in an ad blocker and an optional antivirus with search and alert features should you go for the OnePlus tier. Oh, and by the way, the OnePlus plan, which is Surfshark's highest tier, would still cost about as much as most other VPNs that don't even offer half of what Surfshark offers. It's pretty insane stuff. And if you thought it couldn't be any more cost-effective, you can even connect an unlimited number of devices with one single subscription, and it can run on virtually any device out there. And lastly, you'll gain access to over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot compared to most VPNs I've tested so far. So the bottom line is if you're looking for a VPN that gets the job done at the best possible cost without necessarily sacrificing any features, then Surfshark is your go-to. All right, now if you're looking to get the most bang for your buck, then NordVPN is going to be your best option. Nord performs at such a high level and offers a lot of bonus features that you won't find in any other VPN really. Well, at least not altogether in one single subscription. For example, with Nord, you'll be getting the essentials we talked about earlier, as well as some cool extras like specialty servers, threat protection, a mesh net, and a dark web monitor. Now, in terms of speed, it actually performed phenomenally and even got me faster results than ExpressVPN at some points during my testing. That being said, it has over 6,000 servers in 61 countries, which is quite a lot and pretty much all you really need unless you're looking to connect to some obscure countries out there. Other than that, Nord allows up to six simultaneous connections, which is more than enough for most users, and just like Surfshark, it can run on virtually any device out there. And so if you're looking for the most well-rounded option out there that gives you the most features and offers the most value for your subscription, then Nord is right up your alley. All right, now I saved the best one for last and ExpressVPN is gonna be the one to choose if you're someone who wants absolute security or if you're looking for the best one overall. As I mentioned earlier, all three VPNs have strict no-logs policies, which have been audited by several independent companies to prove their commitment to user privacy. But what if you could go one step above that to ensure the user that their data is in the safest hands? Well, somehow ExpressVPN actually managed 
managed to do that. And this was due to an incident back in 2017 where the Turkish government seized one of their servers as a part of an ongoing investigation, only to find nothing of use on that server. And so having your policies put through the test in real life is basically what made ExpressVPN the most secure VPN out there. Now, in terms of features, Express might not have the cool bonus stuff you find in both Surfshark and Nord, but that's intentional, as they've designed all the wraps with the complete beginner in mind, so they excluded all the granular control options you might find in other VPNs. This might seem like a bummer for experienced users who wanted that, but don't count ExpressVPN out yet, as they've started adding more features to their arsenal, some that might even compete with those of Nord. For example, they added an advanced protection feature that blocks ads, trackers, and malicious sites. Plus, you can use this feature as a simple form of parental control by blocking adult sites and another bonus you get is a free express password manager as a chrome extension so you don't have to pay for a separate password manager and it's just as easy to use as the vpn app other than that express has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries and it allows you to connect to up to eight devices simultaneously which is more than the industry standard now as far as the cost express vpn gives you three plans to choose from there's a month at a time plan for $12.95 per month, a six month plan for $10 a month, or a 12 month plan for $8.32 per month. However, if you use the link in the description, you get three months free, and so the 12 month plan drops down to $6.67 per month. Now, out of curiosity, I spoke with Express, and they mentioned that a lot of young people end up spending more money on monthly renewals than they would have with a yearly plan because the typical pattern is that people renew monthly thinking they might not need a VPN long term. So, unfortunately, they end up spending more money on the monthly plan with a higher monthly rate than they would have going with the yearly plan, which significantly lowers the rate, especially with the discount code we provided below. So ultimately, if you know you're not going to need Express for longer than a month, definitely get the month plan. But if there's a chance you might end up using it for longer than a month, you might want to go with the longer term plan. And then if you change your mind or realize you don't need it for that long, you can always get a refund and go back to just a month at a time plan. Okay, now to sum it up, if you want the easiest, most reliable option with killer privacy, go with ExpressVPN. For a feature-packed, well-rounded choice, NordVPN has your back. And if you're on a budget but still want solid performance, Surfshark is the way to go. And guess what? If this sounds like what you need, I've got a sweet deal for you in the description, giving you up to six extra months with Surfshark. Check out the links for discounts on ExpressVPN and NordVPN as well. And that would be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos. And let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity-wise you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.